Hi, hello, hey. So in this video, I'm going to be doing 10 pages in my sketchbook and I'm going to be using art supplies that I haven't used in a long time or art supplies that I don't like. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be rotating between these two sketchbooks. This is my watercolor sketchbook and this is my mixed media sketchbook. So got a lot of both those things. Hello! So, um, on this first page, I'm going to be using White Knight's watercolors. <laughs> and I love the palette and all the colors, and I love that they're full pans. But I'm just not a fan of the paints. Yeah, so, um, I didn't really film myself sketching for, like, any of this video. I just didn't want to make it that much longer. <laughs> but yeah, so I sketched it out, and then I did some line art. And um, this page, um, these are both drawings from reference photos. Just by the way, I got them on um, Unsplash. But yeah, so they have some good reference photos, but you gotta look for them. <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, and these colors, like, they weren't as bad as I remembered. They're just like not that pigmented and they dry like way, way lighter. Then when I put them down, which is kind of annoying, so it, I had to do like a lot of layers. And um, I also just like when they dried, it had like this weird like feeling on the paper, and I just didn't like the way it felt when it dried. But yeah, so I really like the palette. I'm just not a fan of these paints, so I don't use them very often. <laughs> but yeah, I do think this photo turned out cute. And I also, after I did this page, it felt very, like, springy or summery. So I decided that I was going to try to do, like, a page inspired by each season. So the pages I do aren't actually, like, in order of the seasons. I just, like, it's, like, keep that. I was keeping that in mind for this video. <laughs> yeah. So currently, as I'm doing this part of the voiceover... I have done half of the pages so far. But yeah, so I can't speak of the second half. So just so you know, <laughs> if you get confused as I say, I didn't do this and later I do do that, it's because I haven't finished everything yet. But yeah, so I didn't film that much of this page of the second one at least, which I didn't even realize I didn't film anything like I thought I did, but I didn't apparently. I just filmed me doing the highlights, my favorite part. Yeah, and I decided um, to also use these metallic watercolors. Um, and that set, I feel like I've had since I was like seven or something crazy. Like, I don't even remember getting it. I just like feel like I've always had it. I used to use it a lot, but... Um, yeah, the colors are just kind of sticky, and I just don't use metallic watercolors that often. But yeah, like these ones, and I don't think Little Me realized it, but I realize it now after I use them. I don't think they ever fully dry. Like, they were sticky on the paper, which was kind of annoying. Like, not that sticky, but like slightly sticky, and I was like, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Yeah, so there is some blank um, space on the paper, so I decided to do some roses. You know, what I always do. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how the page turned out, the first page. And um, I will show what is metallic on that page later, because I added a bunch of metallic. But yeah, and now I'm going to do some stuff with acrylic paints. Acrylic paint is probably my least favorite medium. I mean, least favorite traditional medium, we'll say that. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of mediums, so, you know, if I had a whole, like, we'll say acrylic paint, my least favorite medium out of the mediums that I own. That's what we'll say. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So, I actually ended up having a lot of fun on this page, and I was like, do I like acrylic paint now? Because before, I, like, hated it, and I only ever used it as, like, 
um, a base coat or something. Like if I needed to do something under oil paints, which I don't use oil paints very often. I've used my oil paints probably a total of like three times. Maybe like five, but probably like three. <laughs> yeah, I would, um, I would like to use them again. I do need to get better at that. I just, watercolors are just so easy. Yeah, anyway, so for, this one's obviously a winter page, <laughs> but this character is actually a character from Animal Jam. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you've ever heard of that game, but I used to play it a lot when I was a kid. Basically, you're like a little animal and you like have like a little den. You can like decorate your little animal and your little house and you like explore the little world and, you know, meet other little animal friends. Well, and it's like an online game, so it's it's pretty fun. And um, anyway, I loaded it recently and then I made an outfit. And then when I was drawing, I was just thinking about Animal Jam, and I was like, I should draw my Animal Jam character. So yeah, this is my outfit. She's kind of cool. I've decided she's like a winter princess. She's a red panda, and she has snowflakes on her. And um, she also makes snowflakes when she walks. She's pretty cool. And um, she's blue, and she has a pretty cool outfit. <laughs> yeah, so um, I drew her as a human because that's what I do and um <laughs> yeah I had to come up with some of the outfit but most of it I guess actually not most of it but the parts that were in the animal is the hat the earrings the ring and the tutu and the scarf yeah so and the colors were all there but I had to come up with like the rest of the outfit yeah um I had a lot of fun on this page like I think I'm going to need to use acrylic paint again, which is pretty crazy. So I painted the background blue, and then I had a lot of extra blue paint. So I decided to just do, like, the page next to it. And I was like, that, you know... Well, I knew what I was going to do on the next page, and I thought a base coat would be a good idea anyway. And yeah, the next page just looked pretty cool, I'll say. <laughs> yeah, so I did... Um, spend a lot of time off camera on a red panda page red panda winter page and um i changed like the bottom of the outfit a little bit and um okay i do show this part but yeah i did line art with a pen i probably could have done line art with the paint but i didn't want to get any more paint out i just didn't want to like put any more on the palette so i was like eh, i'll just use a pen also, like, watercolors are so nice. Like, I forgot how, like, messy every other medium is. Like, if I get watercolor on my hands, it just, like, washes off and doesn't, like, stain my hands or anything. But I kept getting, like, acrylic paint and, like, inks and, like, charcoal and stuff just, like, all over my hands. And it was just, like, a pain. It was getting everywhere. I was getting it on the table and I had to, like, clean the table. And then, like... It was just a mess. <laughs> but yeah, it's also kind of annoying that you can't like re-wet acrylic paint. So if it dries on the palette, it's dried on the palette. Oh yeah, and I got some gouache on the other page, but you can never tell. Actually, forgot I did that. But yeah. Oh yeah. Also, um, her mouth, like on the one on the right. Yeah, just like it seemed off. Like I ended up repainting it like higher up because I just didn't like the way it looked. Yeah, and I decided to add a bunch of snowflakes because I was like, there's no snowflakes. Actually, I was planning to do the snowflakes on um, her vest from the beginning. I just was going to do it, like, last. Yeah, so I added some snowflakes to the background, too. Definitely needed that. <laughs> I added, oh yeah, I also added some, like, um, little hearts. They were supposed to look like the heart ring. I don't film me adding the hearts, but I did that later, and I added a bunch more snowflakes. But yeah, also, this video is, like, actually pretty fun to film, so... Oh, yeah, and I, I changed, um, I changed her tights to being striped, and I added, um, like, fur boots, which I felt like was kind of basic, and I didn't do that from the beginning, because I was like, that's boring, but I ended up doing it. <laughs> 
yeah so now i'm doing a page with charcoal and i'm gonna be honest the only reason i'm using charcoal is because like two videos ago i forgot to use charcoal when i was supposed to it was part of the challenge and i didn't want anyone thinking that i can't use charcoal so i'm sure nobody thought that but if you did this is for you i'm showing you what's up i can use charcoal <laughs> yeah also um the one of the charcoal pencils it's the one that looks like a normal graphite pencil or not normal graphite but the you see the one on like the left in the line the three that pencil is a normal graphite pencil i don't know why it was with the charcoal but i didn't realize it till like after i finished the drawing i was like wait a second which is funny and i'm pretty sure i used that one a lot because it didn't feel like charcoal <laughs> I was like, ah, this pencil is really nice, you know? And then at the end, I was like, oh, that's why I liked it, because it wasn't a charcoal pencil. <laughs> I don't know. Charcoal is just, like, graphite, but, like, more messy and annoying. So, I think I like graphite better. <laughs> I also had this um, white charcoal pencil that I used a lot. But then, when I sprayed it, which is what I'm doing right now, when I sprayed it, the white went away, so that's annoying. Also, why did I film me going outside to spray it? Just for funsies. Also, I wanted to show you how dark it was. I think it was like, like 11, yeah, like 11 p.m. So, I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it sounded fun to film, okay? It was different. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, so when I sprayed it, the white charcoal like disappeared. So I had to redo all of my highlights with white gouache. Oh yeah, I didn't even explain what I was drawing on this page. So I was drawing some 50s swimsuits. It was pretty fun. Um, I have this, um, actually I actually have a couple of these books, but there are these books that are like, um, they're a, a compilation of like Sears catalogs from that decade. So I used the 50s one and I found a bunch of like swimsuits and I drew them. They actually were kind of boring. Like, I don't know why I thought they were gonna be more exciting, but I thought they were gonna be more exciting. <laughs> but yeah. Also, the one on the left is like a strapless swimsuit. And yeah, I know those are still a thing, but I was just thinking about it. And I was like, why would you want a strapless swimsuit? That sounds like the worst idea ever. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool, I guess. But that just, like... I mean, I guess if you're not using it to swim, then it works. But that's kind of, you know, the point of a swimsuit is. <laughs> but yeah. I also, I did try to replicate the hair. Except for on the one on the right. That was just me. But... The rest of them, I did try to replicate their hairstyles. But yeah, so here's how it looks. I feel like it looks like a summer night or something. And I really, I really like it. I also had a dream about it. Like, it was in my dream. So, I think that just goes to show that I liked it. And now, I'm going to do a page or two using my um, school supplies from Waldorf School. Yeah. Yeah, so if you've never seen these before, you're probably like confused, but um, I used to go to a Waldorf school um, until middle school, and they let me keep my stuff, which I thought I was going to have to give back and I was going to be really sad, but I got to keep my pencils and crayons that were the school's and not even like mine, but um, you know, it was pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, so they have like these block crayons and then like um, colored pencils. And um, they're from, actually, I don't know about the, the block crayons, but the colored pencils are from like Lyra, I think is how you say it. And I actually do see their stuff at the art store. So they're like really common art brand. So that's nice. But yeah, so um, geez, I need to like explain what I'm doing. <laughs> I made this video go by fast because I didn't want like so many pages, but I didn't want them to be take too long. 
So I did pencil on the page and then I did two layers of black acrylic paint and then I had extra paint so I decided to do the page next to it too. And then I have these metallic inks that I like never use. I mean actually I've been putting them on my art table so I remember to use them so I, I have used them a couple times but um, yeah I'm going to do a page with those too. And then I didn't have enough paint to do um, the border. So I just, I did a metallic ink border. And um, I don't know if you've ever seen someone do one of these. If you haven't, then um, look at me showing you stuff. But I was trying to make one of those like scratchy pages, you know, where you like scratch it and there's like rainbow underneath. And um, I don't know what I did wrong, but it didn't really work that well. <laughs> like it worked, but it didn't work that well. So I'm thinking I didn't do enough layers of acrylic paint, maybe? I did two, just because it wasn't opaque after one layer. So maybe you're supposed to do like three? I don't know. I didn't watch a video on how to do it. I just winged it and hope it w hoped it would work. And it worked like as well as I thought it would. <laughs> but yeah, so I switched between a bunch of different like things to try to like figure out what like scratched the best. And the thing that I think worked the best was actually the other end of a paintbrush. So this paintbrush kind of has like a pointy end and it actually worked pretty good for the scratchy scratch. So yeah, I just did some people. And at this point I was getting kind of bored of drawing people. So I didn't really have like any ideas of what I was gonna do for this page. Mostly, I was just trying to, like, draw anything. <laughs> but yeah, and by the end, I don't even I don't even know if you can tell, like, what is what on this page. I don't know. It just, it's a mess. The colors are pretty, I guess, so that's something. But yeah, that, it didn't really work that well, to be honest, but I tried. And then on this page, I decided to use some ink. And the ink colors are kind of different from the ones at the border. And that's just because um, this ink likes to separate. And so I flipped it upside down for a couple hours and then I used it was on the caps. And that's because um, the metallic part always goes to the bottom. So if I flip it upside down, it'll go on the caps and then I can just use the caps to get ink. So that's what I did. And um, yeah, the pure metallic color is a lot different than what you get if it's like the mixed version. So the purple doesn't look that different from the border, but you see what I mean when I start using the red. Cause like on the border, the red ink is red, but when I use the pure ink, it's like gold. So yeah, I got um, this ink got everywhere. But yeah, see what I mean? That's not red that's just gold at this point or orange. Maybe it's more like bronze, you know? But yeah, anyway. So um, I didn't end up using that much of the crayons. I was going to use them more. Or I thought I was going to use them more, but I just ended up using them for the scratchy page. And then I used them a little bit on the next page. I don't really show it, but yeah. And currently, I don't think I'm going to use them any more than that. Like, at least not for this video. Maybe I'll do it on my own time. But yeah. Yeah, I also, I wasn't planning to do a full page just with these two ink colors. I was going to just, like, incorporate them into the drawings. But after I had, like, the leftover black acrylic paint, I was like, you know what? This might look cool. I'll just, like, draw over it, you know? Yeah, so here's the finished page. I mixed the two colors to create the color I did used for the roses. So, did my classic again with the roses. And now I'm going to glue a page. Well, I glued it and I taped it. And I used this pretty duct tape because I thought it would look cool. I actually feel like it looks kind of weird, but I thought it would look pretty. So I used that to like secure it in there. And that's because one ink bled through, but also because I'm going to use markers on that page. But first, I'm going to use colored pencils on the other side of the page. Yeah, because I didn't use colored pencils on the last page like I, like I, I, like I was going to do. But yeah, also I'm using um, Crazy Art colored pencils to do most of the sketching for this video. So if you're wondering what like the colorful sketches is about, 
I'm using crazy out colored pencils because um, I don't remember the last time I used them either, so I thought I would use them, but they're not that interesting, so I'm using them for sketching just to use them, but you don't get to see that. <laughs> but yeah, so on this page, I just did a fun little colored pencil page, and um, I actually think it was pretty fun. Um, watercolors are still better, but you know. Just doing all these different mediums, I'm just realizing, like, why I use watercolor so much. But yeah, I'm thinking not next video, maybe, like, the one after next video. I'm going to do um, another video similar to this, but just, like, less pages. And um, probably more, like, supplies that I use normally, but just, like, filling up the sketchbook. Hey, so a week has passed since that last voiceover, and now I'm doing the final one. But yeah, I don't know why I, like, stopped in the middle of a page with the voiceover. But yeah, um, I don't really remember what I was just talking about. I didn't want to re-listen to the whole voiceover again, so I didn't, and I don't remember what all I talked about. So it was, like, at least a week ago. <laughs> when I did the last part. So, um, yeah, I just finished all of the drawings last night, finally. And um, yeah, this video has taken me, I don't know, like three weeks. But yeah, like if you, my last video was a couple weeks ago and you might be thinking, oh, so you didn't like, you stopped making videos for a couple weeks, right? No, this video has just taken me that long. I've been working on it this whole time but yeah so there's the finished page and now i'm doing a sharpie page i don't use my sharpies all that often um i think i got this like giant set this one time i think i got it because i got some white shoes like years ago and then i drew on them with sharpies it was really fun i don't have those shoes anymore but that was fun. But yeah, anyway, so I got this set, so I'd have lots of colors. And um, I have some, I had, I did have some other colors, but it was like a bunch of like um, random colors. So yeah, the I didn't have that many other colors besides one that came in the set. So I just like shoved all the other colors that I had in there. But yeah, so. I don't know what the point of that whole story was, but now you know. <laughs> but yeah, so on this page, I decided to do a mermaid. Um, honestly, because I forgot what month it was. <laughs> you know what? May has started now, so it worked out. But I was, I was like, thinking about what to draw for this page. And then I was like, isn't it, like, mermaid? And I was like, I should do a mermaid. And then after I sketched it, I was like, wait, it's April. It's not May. <laughs> But now it's May, so it worked out. <laughs> yes, that was my idea. And then when I was deciding like what colors to do, the skin tone was literally because I had two skin tones, the lighter one that I used for the highlights and the brown. So, and the lighter one was kind of like out of ink. So I was like, okay, guess I know which skin tone I'm going to use. Yeah, and I, I wanted to use the brown, so, yeah. And um, then I did the hair, and I was like, oh no, she looks like Ariel. I gotta do some not Ariel colors, so I did pink. And, um, yeah, the pink... What was I gonna say? I think they're... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I did this page like a week, a week ago, so I don't really remember what I was thinking while I was drawing this that well. But I think the color that I did for the highlights in her hair, I thought was going to be more pinky and then it was more orange. And then I was sad that her hair looked more orange than pink. I feel like that was a thing. But yeah, I think this might be one of, one of, definitely one of my favorite pages. Favorite pictures that I did for this video. It's on the thumbnail, unless I change the thumbnail. But yeah, I spent like an hour on that thumbnail, so... Hope this video does well, cause this is spent a lot of time on this one. 
Yeah, like my last video is like one of these drawings. Not even one page, like one of these drawings. Because, you know, some of these pages, I did multiple drawings on each page, which make it take even longer. <laughs> also, look at me coloring in the background. It's so satisfying. I love it. Oh yeah, also, I normally don't do like um, super bright highlights on the skin like that. Um, so wasn't it like an in-between color? Like I said, those are my only, like, options. So there wasn't a very good in-between color to, like, blend the two. So her face, the highlights on it look kind of weird. I think it looks fine. This is the finished picture. It doesn't look that bad, but... It looks kind of weird. <laughs> I'd never really done that before, so I didn't really know where to put the highlights on the face. But yeah, and um, now moving on to the next page. I'm using this set of watercolors. And this is a reference photo that I got off um, Unsplash, I think is how you say it, if I'm remembering right. But yeah, um, they have like reference photos and, um, or they just have like photos on there that you can like use for anything. And that's what they're there for, it's like photos that anyone can use. So I don't feel bad stealing photos for references. I mean you know not like it's a big deal but um yeah <laughs> but yeah so this one was it's a girl and a horse if you can't tell and um i did simplify it a little bit and i changed some things like there was stuff in the background but the background was kind of black because they were like they were in shadow so the lighting was actually really complicated in this photo there was like a sun from the front so she was in the sun, but then the background was all black. But then there was some stuff in the background. Like, they were in, like, the horse's, like, stall, I think. Anyway, it was all complicated. So, um, I just made the background black, because it was mostly black anyway. And I also made her hair a lot longer. Her hair was not that long. <laughs> and then, um... You know, I drew it in my style, so it's not realistic. But yeah, and the paints that I'm using, um, I think it's Derwin or something. Sounds similar to that. But um, I got them on Amazon, like, years ago, and they were, like, um, kind of the first, like, fancier watercolors that I ever used. They were an upgrade from... Um, watercolors you get from the grocery store so yeah anyway now i'm using the kurataki watercolors and um yeah anyway back to the other ones i just used those ones i don't really use anymore because um they're not that bad but they're student grade so i have artist grade watercolors and i just i got them and i just didn't look back but yeah and these watercolors are kind of weird so i got them because like the it it looks cool comes with a lot of colors and like the pans are huge so you can like use giant brushes with it but they get super muddy and i just don't like the paints that much like if you mix at all it like just gets like ruined so for the start i wasn't using a mixing palette at all so i was like no mixing colors for you but then I got one out. I didn't mix with it though. I, I was just putting the colors from the pans in there so I could like mess with like um, the consistency easier instead of just using it in the pan. Also, if you're using watercolors and you don't have a mixing tray, like you need to get yourself a mixing tray. Use a plate, use something. It's not fun without the mixing tray. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just don't like that you can't mix with these paints and it's supposed to be like well you have so many colors so why would you here's the finished picture by the way well you have so many colors why would you need to mix but i like to have the very specific colors like to get i don't know i like to mix okay it's better um anyway um this i didn't sketch i didn't spend very much time sketching this one so the sketch isn't very good but this was a reference photo from two years ago. Me at the pumpkin patch sitting in a sunflower field. And um, I knew I wanted to draw it. 
and I, I'm drawing it. So, honestly, at this point, I didn't think I was ever going to draw it, but I did it, and I'm, I'm painting it, too, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, these are the, it's either Rosa or Rose, I think it's Rosa Gallery watercolors. I think I got these paints and then I used them one time, maybe two. So um, yeah, I'm using them again. Yeah, so barely had any time to talk about those paints. But yeah, honestly, I just picked- here is all the finished pages by the way. I just picked those paints because um, I wanted to do 10 pages and I'd only done 9. So it's like, get those paints, we need to do 10 pages. But yeah, so thanks for watching and um, yeah, bye.